Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing y'all a secret thing Bethesda just added in within the newest update. They didn't let anyone know, so they didn't want y'all to find out about this easily. Let's just say that much. But uh, before I get into this, I just want to give credit where credit is due. I figured this out by a guy that goes by Revival Dan on YouTube. I'll have a link down below in the description to his channel. Props to that guy for discovering this location. I believe he was the first one to post about this on YouTube. Either way, I figured out about this from him. So, yeah, let's get into this. This is a new secret unmarked location that was, once again, recently added in. And you can find this location all the way up here from Vault 76 in the middle of nowhere, right here, next to the compass. This is actually, for those of you that may remember, I built a treehouse camp here a long time ago. As you can see, the treehouse is right there, up in that giant tree in the Mirelurk region. You know, the giant trees are all around this region. Very odd looking. But yeah, you can find the new location right here. And it's called the Myrler Den. There's actually a little backstory to this place too, which I'll be getting into that when we go in here. There's a couple of lore pieces you can find around in this location that, you know, tell the backstory of what went down here. So, yeah, once again, I'll show you where it's at on the map. It's pretty tricky to find, but you can place a camp around this area if you want to do that. As you can see, well, not right here exactly. Got to move it around a little bit. Um, there we go. Pretty much right by it. You can still have the green circle pretty much right in where the Mylark Den is, as you can see. So yeah, keep that in mind. This would be a pretty unique camp for more players to discover this place. If you made a camp over by here, some players may come and check out your camp and discover this Mylark Den. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Figured I'd make a video showcasing this new secret location. And I know there's other secret locations or locations that Bethesda added in under the radar and didn't really let players know about. And I will be covering those as well in the future. But for now, let's stick with the Mylark Den here. Let's head on in. I'll be giving you all a full tour over this place. So right off the bat here, here's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And look at this. This is what it looks like when you enter here. As you could tell, the whoever came in here took over this den. And you can see the spears going through this giant Mylar Queen. Battle went down here. And you'll be and you'll see who took over this place here in a second. As you can see. There's blood eagles in here. So they took on the giant Mirelurk queen in here. And there's more of a story over the blood eagles in here. If you notice, the Mirelurks actually aren't attacking the blood eagles. Which there's a backstory that explains why that is. And look at the size of this egg. These Mirelurk eggs are huge in here. Shoo wee, that had to have been painful to come out. I mean... I don't know for sure and all, but I know when like I'm constipated or something and I gotta take a poop really bad, sometimes it 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 can be a little painful depending on how big the poop is. It you know, you gotta grunt and stuff that it can get painful. I'm just being real, it can. It's a little off topic, but just seeing the size of this egg reminds me of some past painful poops I've had. Anyways, check this out. Here's the first little lore piece in here. My lurk medley. One pound of Mylar spawn meat, two potatoes, five cups of fish broth, half pound of glowing mushrooms, 0.25 pound brain fungus, salt to taste, and lastly it says razor. This was the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. If you make this again, you're out of the game. <laughs> Someone really doesn't like Mylar. Whoever the leader was in here anyways. <laughs> Speaking of the leader, you can find a leader in here. You can see there's some Mylar around this guy. At least I believe this is the leader because he's the strongest one in here. He's wearing power armor and typically has an energy weapon on him. But yeah, look at this place. Freaking alien coming out of the Mylark egg. And whoa, there they are again. Look how big these things are. Have they always been this big? 
and I just never realized or something? Sheesh. Unless all these eggs in here are for like Mirelurk queens or some kind of giant Mirelurks, like Mirelurk kings and stuff. They're about to hatch. Oh, what the? Where'd the body go? Oh, son of a biscuit! I shouldn't have been paying attention to that. Whoops! And I don't even think I have armor on. I'm supposed to be wearing my power armor. I just kind of came in here. Too confident, I guess. Let me go ahead and get out my power armor. Don't know why I'm not wearing this. I wouldn't have died there. But yeah, there's something else in here. Actually, there's a few other things that I really want to show you in here. They're freaking awesome. So let me go get revenge on that guy that just took me out real quick. Because over here, there's actually another piece of the story. Or the last piece of the story. This is the last lore piece you can find. Okay. Here it is. Myler Den. The bitch is dead! We lost Jackie and Ricky, but we finally got her! Took us weeks to track down this den. So, they're talking about the Myler Queen there. Anyways, a few of her eggs hatched the other day. We were a little worried at first, but they seem to have taken a liking to us. They don't taste that bad either. So, that's interesting. The Myrlurks took the Blood Eagles as, like, their parents. I don't know, that's pretty interesting. So, does that mean, like... If a Mylurk hatches around anything, that's who they're going to consider their, like, family and they won't attack them? I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting. A little bit of a backstory over what happened here. And also some more lore to the Mylurks. There's just tons of them around in here. Freaking cave opening right here for the Mylurk queen. Sheesh. So that's what they mean they finally got her. But yeah. <laughs> what the heck? It's Freddy Fear under there. Can I grab that? I can't get any of that under there. <laughs> I never noticed that. That's cool. Sugar bombs and bubble gum. Looks like you got stuck under there. Fear, why are you in the sewers, buddy? It's got to stink. All right. Um. Lastly, though, here I wanted to show you something pretty cool, which I, this is one of the main reasons why I recommend coming here. Check this out, guys. Look at this. There's a secret door in here. What? I pressed the button. What the? What the? What's happening? It's supposed to just be easy. Alright, there it goes. Huh? A little laggy. I guess. I'll leave and come out. Let me show you some other things you can get in here, though. You can scavenge this. There's some things you can break down in here. Some things over here you can break down. Up there. Let me try one more time. All right. Only thing I can really think of is just re-entering this place. Okay, here we go. Open. You've got to be joking me. Oh, maybe not all the generators are activated. Okay, this one is. We'll open up now since I reactivated that generator. Maybe. Okay, finally it opened. As you can see, here is what's back here. Check this out. Bunch of weapons, ammo. This is what makes it worth it to come here and loot. And conveniently, there's a Tinker's Workbench right by here. So we can scavenge all this stuff. You know, break it down into junk, I mean. It's very handy. But yeah. That's a tour over this new Myler Den location. Pretty neat how there's a little backstory to this place and a secret location within the place with the door. I don't know what's going on with 
why I couldn't open it. Not sure. Let me know if you guys have uh, a similar problem with opening it. And if you know why it wasn't working. Don't don't know what was going on there. But yeah. But yeah. I guess that's wrapping up this very one. Hope you all found this enjoyable. And if you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leave a reminder here in the end. I'm out of here though, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.